You don't want to listen to scanning and come mess with the police, huh? That's what you want to do? That's what you want to do? Huh? Two in the chest all day long. Good boy. Oh, okay. Yeah? I put two in his chest. He gets out. Joey gets out. You know, and he starts cussing at him. He's in public. You got Wendy's, you got Summit, you got... I mean, it's probably a far-fetched. I mean, but it's still cussing at me like right that. But you got... That's what they call? Look, Joseph, real quick. Joseph is different. Huh? Can't oh, okay. Good. Yeah. You can't, be a, you can't be a victim of disorderly, remember that. Why? Hey, guys, this happened way back in January of 2022. I know it's not brand new, but... The body cam video was just released in which one of the supervisors claims that if someone walked up on him with a camera, that's two in the chest all day long. So I saw it fit to show all of the video, even what was released way back in January, just to make sure I show all of the context of what's going on. YouTuber Mr. Diddy notices a Macomb County Sheriff's deputy sitting in an open, abandoned parking lot all by himself. And considering how suspicious this activity is, he approaches to investigate. The deputy doesn't seem to be at all concerned that he's being investigated. But after the investigator calls him names, all of a sudden the deputy needs a sippy cup and a pacifier. Step away from the car. I'm in public, I'm good. Step away from the car. Is this a crime scene? Can I ask you one more thing? Who are you? Yeah, help. back up. Can I get your name go for back a to complaint? Your car. Can I get your name not, for a go complaint? Go back to your car. Who are you? What's your name? Go back to your car. I'm telling you right now. I want now. to write a complaint. What's Man, your write name? No complaints here. Just go back to you're, your car. You're a fucking weenie, bro. Go back to your car. What's you're your name? Me in public, yeah, bitch. You're going to go to jail. Go to jail. That's, That's what you're going to do. That's yeah. what you're going to do. Put your hands on the car. Put your hands on the <laughs> Oh, you fucked up. No, you. No, that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, you fucked up bad. You're fussing in public like that. Yeah. You have reached the Macomb County Sheriff's Office. Amen. Right there, Sergeant Amy. Sergeant Amy? Yeah. How you doing, Sergeant? This is James. Yeah, how are you? Good. I was looking for Mark Tillman, just trying to uh, check on his welfare real quick. Um, okay, and why is. Why do you need to check on his welfare? Is there something wrong? Uh, it looks, yeah, I know he was having some issues. Um, just want to make sure he was okay, doing all right. I'm not aware of any issues or problems or concerns or anything. Yeah, I, I had just seen something where, uh, he looked like he was deeply hurt, disturbed, and, and bothered by somebody cussing. And so I just wanted to see if he was still melting down or, or if he'd come back to his senses or... Okay. I mean, if you have an issue or a problem, it sounds like you have some kind of issue. So if you wanted to come in and make a complaint, you're well more than welcome to do that. No, 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 no. I just saw that it appeared that he, I, I don't have any problem with, uh, I would be upset too if somebody called me names. So I was just trying to make sure that he had calmed down, maybe gotten himself a pacifier, sippy cup, a diaper, um, and that he was okay, no longer it, mad about being called names. Okay, that's uh, that's cute, but uh, unless you have anything else, is there anything else I can help you with? Um, yeah, if you can give me a P.O. box, actually, if he doesn't have a sippy cup yet to calm him down, I can get him one, so the next okay, time someone calls him names, I can... Man, you're an idiot. You got ID on you? You have ID on you? Supervisor. Okay, you got a supervisor coming right now. Yeah, call him. You want to call me a fucking idiot, huh? You are a fucking idiot. Okay, good. Yeah. Say it again. Dude, you, I love how you, you just come out idiot. here. Okay, yeah. that's good to know. You're a bitch with a gun. Yeah. Triggered over freedom of speech. 
Or a coward. I got, I think somebody else in another vehicle, I'm not sure. I got one. Get out of my pocket. Okay. Get out of my pockets on your What else you got? Man, this is a Fourth Amendment okay. violation. Say that's fantastic. You're violating my that's rights. Absolutely fantastic. You're gonna lose your qualified immunity. Okay. You're gonna lose yours too. Yeah, we will. We will. Are you kidding me? You just said, oh my God. You don't want to listen to scanners and come mess with the police, huh? That's what you want to do? That's what you want to do? Huh? Love you, you don't want to listen to scandals and come mess with the police, huh? That's what you want to do? That's what you want to do? Huh? Hey, quit push. That's what you want to do? Nobody push you. Huh? I'm not sure who jumped out of that car. Where'd you go? I'm not sure. If it, was there anybody else in there or not? There was some... You looking for a place warm to stay tonight? Man. What's that? You got a flat. Let me take the tow trucks here. You got one too? Yeah. Go ahead, step in. Should have left his clown mask on. Come on, step up. I thought he was about to rob me. Y'all got body cameras rolling? Do you? You don't see him? You don't see the lawsuit you're going to get? You know how it works. Okay. Look it. Wow. And his car? Uh, he, can be pull, he can pull up in the car. You can take care of it now. Right. Yeah. 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 I'm in the car. I see a car pull up. I'm like, why would somebody come in here? I'm the only one over here. Ain't nothing open. Nothing open. He just pulls up, comes up. I'm like, so I grab him. I'm like, okay, this guy, what are you about to do? And he pulls up, he's pulls his mask down. I thought he was about to rob me or something. I didn't know what was going on. I'm like, okay. He's got the camera. Then he had his camera. Then I noticed he had a camera on me. I didn't know what that was. I thought he might have been uh, a gun or something. I didn't know. He's one of the, uh, what's the call guys? I told him to stop. I'm like, step away from the car. You guys deal with this guy? Dude, all the time. How do you know where I was here? Because he right, works, he, he works, he lives right up the road, but he works at Jet's Pizza. Good to know. He, he, just, he just made a video of us yesterday. What was he doing to you? He, he, up, he comes in with a mask on. Yeah. I thought he had, I didn't know if he had a gun on him or not. Right I thought he was about to rob me. With that, with that camera thing? Yeah, this is right here, yeah. With the yeah. camera thing? Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm like sitting in the car, I'm like, oh shit. Doc, that's why I called you guys before he even, I saw him coming up to the car. I stayed in the car, but, and then once he got up to the car, I'm like, step away from the vehicle, step away from the vehicle. Oh, I'm within my rights, I'm in public. So I was like, hey, just step away from the car. And then he gets up and he stays there the entire time. So I stayed in the car. I'm like, okay, whatever. Then he walks back around in the front of the car and he gets in the front. When he got there, he gets there. And then when I got up, he started calling me a fucking asshole, dumb piece of shit or whatever. I'm like, oh, okay. So he's screaming. I mean, he's like cursing at me. And so I'm like, okay, disorderly conduct. You know, nope, you ain't public speak. trust, cussing, whatever. No, he's around, but he was around. Yeah. yeah. So I detained him. Yeah, cuffed him up. Yeah, you yeah. 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 So that cost him up to disorderly conduct. That's at, at this point, I'm detaining him for that. Um, are you going to, uh... Huh? I'm not sure. I'm going to see what the boss says when the boss gets here. I'm... Okay. I'm going to see four and five. Yeah, they have yeah. yeah. It's Petrowski and Wiley. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Look at the end. Triggered over freedom of speech, so I have to call my boss. Yeah, right. Oh my god, let me run him and see if he, does he, he usually has any warrants or anything? No, he's got tattoos. Is he? He's got tattoos all over. It's all good. We do, we do. <laughs> oh my gosh. You can't be doing that kind of stuff. I'm out here by myself. Uh-uh. Dude, you gotta look him up on YouTube. That's him? Yeah. He's like, like Sauger's son. He goes down there and does these, um... What are they called? Uh, audits or some oh, shit? Oh, God, yeah. They do Not kinds of First Amendments. I watched yeah. one the other day. I'm like... Yeah, I, he, just, he just video recorded me yesterday. Would you... Would that know that one with us? Would you want to call? On YouTube, yeah. <laughs> we were on a call, and he's like... He's like... 
Yeah, he's like, a, he's just a problem. Right? He's but if you trying. swear. The Police right. are the problem. Finally, the supervisor arrives and tells everyone to mute their body cams so he can tell them how bad they fucked up. Tell them to step away from the car, then he then Diddy gets out, pulls in the front of the vehicle. He gets out, Cody gets out, you know, and then he starts cussing at him. And he's, in he's in public. You got Wendy's, you got Summit, you got. I mean, it's probably a far fetched. I mean, but it's still cussing at me like that. But you got. That's what they call? Well, tell us real quick. Tell us a dinner. Huh? Yeah, oh, okay. Good. Yeah. You can't, be a, you can't be a victim of disorderly, remember that. I know. We gotta have. You, you gotta, gotta have. You can't be a victim no, no. Of I wasn't I'll, thinking. Okay, saying. I'm not saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they're just too far, dude. Okay. It's not reasonable. I, I, this will be a, it'll be a stretch for that. This guy here, he was here. Who was? Ballard. Well, we'll wait for a boss, and then, uh... Right. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. It's not him. It's going to be stuff around with one of the Baylor's guys. Okay. Oh, because the Baylor's guy was here, too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm like, I can't even remember how far away was he. Yeah, that's... Did you hear him touching him out? Yeah. You heard him touching him out? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Oh, you did? You did? Okay. Yeah. Well, I got out of the truck. So now they sit there and... What did he say? Did you hear what he said? Did you hear what he said? Fuck you, and there's, uh, I hate you, I think I said. Yeah, I can't quite remember what he... I heard him tired of Yeah, okay. Uh, I heard him tired of Fuck you. Yeah. Now, cussing in and of itself is not disorderly conduct. Oh. Disorderly conduct is when your language incites violence, and a police officer cannot be a victim of disorderly conduct nope. because the courts have ruled that it's unreasonable for police to resort to violence over words. Unfortunately, the courts have also ruled that it is reasonable for some people to violently attack others if their feelings are hurt. Unfortunately, the Supreme Court gets a lot of things wrong, including one where they ruled that there's such thing as fighting words. Fighting words, according to them, are words that are used that would cause a reasonable person to lash out in violence. This has enabled all types of people, including police, Democrats, Republicans, and other statists, to lash out in violence and try to rationalize it, claiming that someone else's ideas, thoughts, and words made them do violence. So no matter who heard what this guy said, it wasn't disorderly conduct. But, just for the sake of argument, let's pretend that his words were disorderly conduct if someone other than the cop heard them. Because that's actually what the deputies were trying to establish here after they found out the arrest was unlawful. They're claiming that the tow truck driver heard him say cuss words, which is what constituted disorderly conduct. But when you go back and watch the actual arrest, the tow truck driver was inside of his truck with his windows up, backing up. The tow truck driver may have heard this guy cuss after he was arrested, but he definitely didn't hear him cuss before he was arrested. Go back to your car. Can I get your name go back, back to your car? Can I get your name not, for a go complaint? Go back to your car. Corey, what's your name? Go back to your car. I'm telling you right now. I want now. to write a complaint. What's your name? No complaints here. Just go back to your you're, car. You're a fucking weenie, bro. Go back to your car. What's you your name? You're cussing at me in public. You're yeah, conduct. bitch. You're going to go to jail. Now here's the body cam from the first backup officer that arrived on scene who exclaims multiple times that if you walk up on him with a camera, that's two in the chest all day long. Two in the chest all day long. Good bye. Uh, yeah, I'd put two in his chest. So he'd shoot you over the First Amendment. Nope, it's off. I turned it off. Okay. We have conversation with him, like, listen, man, like, this is gonna get you killed. But if you, and that's, I'm like, dude, you come up on me and I'm with ski mask and that in your hand, I'm putting. They shouldn't be allowed to mute the body cam. That's bull. Well, you're putting yourself in a situation where you might get yourself hurt. You should put yourself in a dangerous spot today. Luckily, it ended like this. Not even shooting or something worse. That camera's just set if you got out there. That's. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. Very dangerous. This guy? Yep. You're not suicidal, are you? Are you? You don't want to answer my questions? Nope. You weren't trying to get this deputy to shoot you, were you? You'll get your stuff back, but we're going to photograph it so that the prosecutors are going to see everything that happened here. It's going to be up to their decision, but like I said, 
You're, yeah, you're going to show how triggered you got. Luckily, my deputy did a good job of perceiving it as not a gun. The first so amendment. all of us can see what's going on here. Cops have shot people carrying anything from a cell phone to an autistic man carrying a toy truck, claiming that they thought they saw a gun. So these cops are trying to cleverly articulate that if you are going to record the police, then one day we might accidentally think your camera is a gun and murder you. This is what I would call a veiled threat. I believe that deputies within the Macomb Sheriff's Department have every intention of murdering someone in the future for exercising their rights to record the police. I understand what you do and why you do it, you but know. at the same time you got to think about your family and yourself. Do you think that cop was in the right? Absolutely. Like I said, I would have took that as a gun. Like I said, that's two in the chest all day long. All day long. And I've been doing this a long time. Not anymore, a you long won't. time. Just looking at your YouTube, you got to be careful how you're recording other people, too. You can't be zooming in on drivers and other vehicles and anything like that. That's a violation of their privacy. How do you Not figure? in public. They're inside their vehicle. In public. It doesn't matter. It's visible from public. It doesn't matter. I do. Yeah, let me call you back in a bit. You think those people want their picture posted all over YouTube? Are you a feelings cop? Am I a feelings cop? You enforce feelings? No, I don't force feelings. Yeah, you do. You just did. Oh, you're going to switch it around. I see what you're doing. I believe in karma. Yeah, and karma What goes around comes house. around. Well, hopefully karma isn't real because this cop thinks that if anyone walks up to a stranger's car window at night, they should get two in the chest. Oh, shit. I believe in karma. What goes around comes around. Two in the chest all day long. Goodbye. Oh, okay. Yeah? I'd put two in his chest. I absolutely do not believe that you should put two in the chest of any random person who walks up to your window. But clearly this cop does. I believe in karma. What goes around comes around. Like right? Nice. Do you? It seems like you're trying to get karma. Because there's going to be somebody else out here that's not as good that's going to see that as a gun. It's not and a then gun. What? You tell me. You didn't think about that aspect, did you? So they released the victim, but they still have his property that they found while they illegally searched him for this illegal arrest. While going through the property, they find a knife that they deem to be illegal, and go back and arrest him again. Alright, change of plans. You're under arrest. You guys are again. No, you have possession of a spring-loaded knife. Come on. 